focusing on him. Hey, Mr. Sands. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to write down all the words that I can think of to start with ISO. ISO? ISO. 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 Is that like ice? Like water? Not exactly. That's no? ICE. And I know you don't spell well, but come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm a pretty bad ICE speller. Me. I see. That's I see. Yeah. That's first yeah. ISO. ISO. Isometric, okay. Yeah. Isotonic, yeah. isotope. What's some iso? Isoelectronic. Okay. I know that word. Yeah. How about like isopropyl alcohol? There I know that. Yeah. Iso. Isothermic. Isothermic. Okay, so well, that's figured, an easy one. I figure, yeah, well, I know this one means heat. Okay. But, but, if, be but, I got, but if I can figure out what iso means, I could probably figure out the rest of these words. But I'm pretty sure it means equal. I looked it up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, equal heat. So that means equal, the same heat. Same heat, same temperature, something like that. Yeah. So, so like uh, isotonic, I know that's a biology thing. This has to do with concentration. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that we're talking about like the same, the same concentration. concentration. Okay. Isoelectronic would right. mean? Same number of electrons. Okay. So but what are we going to talk about today? Well, this one's isotope. Oh, so, so the same number of topes. Exactly. Oh, oh man. What's so, a tope? I, I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. A tope. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to figure out. I no, got ISO you know, down. I know. I know. The tope has something to do with uh, atoms. With the atoms. Okay. So we're going to learn about the same atoms or something like that. Okay. So I guess that's what we should talk about today. All right. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, Mr. Sims, we've been learning about uh, I Yeah, you've got isotopes. to figure out what a tope is. Yeah, what the heck is a tope? I don't know, but you said it has something to do with atoms. So, yeah, we're going to learn about something called an isotope. Today. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do just that. Okay. Well, here's what an isotope oh, wait, is. Wait, wait, same. Yes, there's that word, same. Okay, so that's I, that's the iso part. Uh -huh. So we have the same atom. With a different mass number. Okay, so same atom means it has the same number of protons, because different number of protons make it a different atom. That is correct. Uh, okay, now So we'll tope must mean, I don't know for sure if this is true, <laughs> but I'm going to call tope equal to protons. Protons or the atom. Yeah, maybe Good. something like that. So we're going to okay. learn about isotopes today. So it's the same um, uh, atom with a different mass number? Mass number. That's hmm. a new one. Well, mass number makes sense. Mass is what? Uh, how much stuff there is. Yeah, so if you get so how much, much matter. stuff, so the mass number. Na number is like a number, so okay. it should be like uh, it's how much it weighs, sort of. It's not weight, it's mass, I know. All right. Yeah. Now, why don't we take a trip to the grocery store? Okay, well, we're, we're making this in Sioux Falls, so let's go down to the local grocery store that's close to our hotel. What's the name of that place? Uh, I don't know, Sunshine Market. Sunshine Market or something. Market or something. Like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, here I am in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, at the grocery store. What's it called, Mr. Sam? Sunshine, Sunshine something or other. Foods, Sunshine Foods. Or something yeah. like that. And we want to talk about isotopes. I know it's a very weird place to talk about isotopes, but we've got some stuff. I mean, what's the best place to shop for science supplies? The grocery, grocery store. store. Hey, so uh, let's look down here. What I have is I have uh, I have three cans of Hunt's tomato sauce. Sauce. Hip, hip. Um, they are 15 ounces each. And I have four cans of 8-ounce tomato sauce. Hunt's, of course. So the question is, what is the average atomic weight? So if we were to consider each of these an isotope, this isotope with a mass number of 15, this isotope with a mass number of 8, what's the average? Well, if you take 8 and you take 15 and you average them, well, they make 23, like 12 and a half. But the problem is, I have more of the big one, uh, no, pardon me, more of the small ones than the big ones. So what is the average atomic mass of a Hunt's Let's do the math. I think we should do the math. Well, Mr. Sams, that was interesting. It was. So what do we have again? Uh, well, we had the cans of tomato sauce. So how we had each? three 15 ounce cans. Three 15 ounce cans. Uh huh. Okay. And then we had four 8 ounce cans. And we four wanted to determine the average cans. mass. So what is or the average? average? Yeah, number of ounces of those things. Now, now, shouldn't I just take 15 plus 8 divide by 2, well, right? Well, if. You can if you have equal numbers of things, but we don't have the equal numbers. Uh, yeah. We have three of one, we have four of another, so we're going to have to do a weighted average. So how do we do a weighted average? Well, you're going to have to take the mass times the, the percentage. percent. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to probably figure out that percentage. So if we have seven total isotopes, uh -huh. then we would have the 15 ounce size, that would be 3 over 7, right? Yep, and so that's 42.9%. Uh, and of course, then we do four over seven. Yep. So that the other one. Syntax error. 
Well, it's 100 10. minus that. Sorry, I, I can't That'd use the calculator 50, today. Or, uh, 57.1. Yeah, I guess we could have just subtracted that from 100, huh? I'm too lazy. I like to use the calculator. You, you are like my students too much. <laughs> you must not always use calculator, Mr. Sands. I know, I know. You must learn how to do this. That's what the kids would be doing right now, so I was just trying to you know, do uh, what they were doing. the students. Exactly, I see. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. Um, so let's do this a math here. Okay? What kind of accent is that? Time? I don't know. I figured it out each time. <laughs> okay. All right, so 15 times what? T 15 times the percentage as a decimal. So how would I write that? Uh, that's going to be 0.429. And you got a calculator. So I do. So 15 times 0.429. I'm kind of lying down on the job here. 6.44. 6.44. Four. Okay. And then you'll do... Uh, Eight ounces, and you'll times that by point, the decimal point five, five seven, seven one. one. So we don't use the actual percentage; we use it as a decimal, and we get uh, four point five seven. Okay. And now what we do? Now you just got to add those two numbers together. Yeah, you simply add these guys. It's how we do weighted averages. This is how you calculate your grades, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, if your teacher has eighty percent for tests and twenty percent for worksheets, you can't just add them up and divide by two. You actually have to multiply by the decimals. Okay. All right. So, so this is when we add them together. Right. When we add them together, we get eleven point zero one. So the average mass of the cans of tomato sauce that we have would be eleven point zero one ounces. That's a weighted average. But that seems kind of weird, Mr. Sam's. None of them weigh eleven ounces. No, Either they weigh don't. eight or fifteen. Yes, they do. But they weigh eleven point zero one. Yeah, on average they do, based on the distribution that we had between the fifteen and the eight ounce cans. But the weird thing about that is, is that nobody weighs eleven point zero. That's true. It's but that, fifteen or eight. Right. But if we have that distribution, then that's our average. Okay. All right. That's cool. All, All right. right. All right. So now let's go back to this concept. What makes an isotope have a different mass? What is the key thing that makes the difference? Well, the protons are the same. All right. Because so it's the protons. same element. So protons so are the same, then if their mass is different... Then it has to be based on the different number of neutrons. Yeah, that's it. So it's the neutrons that make the difference, folks. Mm -hmm. If you have a different number of neutrons, then you have a different mass number. Yes. Okay. All right. And so if you look at this cool picture, um, the blue represent the protons with a positive charge, and the red are the neutrons with no charge. Right. And if you get more red things, then you change your mass, or less red things, uh -huh. for that matter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's take an example from um, a real chemical, and that would okay. be hydrogen. So if we look at hydrogen, what do you notice about hydrogen? Uh, it's got one proton and one electron. So this is hydrogen that weighs one. The mass number is always written on top here. Uh -huh. So the mass number of this isotope of hydrogen is one. And what's that number on the bottom there? The mass that, number's on the top. That this one is, is the atomic number. Okay, and that's the number of protons. So this is the mass number, and this is the atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons. And so there is just one proton and then one electron in okay. this atom of hydrogen. Now this atom of hydrogen is different. Notice it has a, an additional a proton and a neutron. neutron. So the, ma the atomic number is still the same, one, but the mass number is two, because I have one proton and one and electron. We learned this last time in, uh, in the last podcast about how you can just subtract the, right. um, the mass number minus the atomic number to get the number of neutrons. Okay. Which just so it's neutrons. still hydrogen, it just has a different mass. That's correct. Okay. And then the third kind of hydrogen has two protons, I mean, uh, two neutrons and a proton, and his weight is three. So it's still hydrogen, because <laughs> it has one proton, but it has a mass number of three. Correct. Okay. So, so the those difference are the different is the neutrons.